All right, everybody, it's time for our new open tag, Fellers of the Orange. Going to show you some orange knobs, so stay tuned. All right, so um, all these knives I've shown in previous videos, um, but I wanted to run through them again real quick. And then I have, I think, one or two more orange knives that I'll be showing that I haven't shown yet. So we'll save those for another day. Uh, but uh, we'll start right here at the top. Uh, and as you guys know, uh, this is one of these cool little knives from um, Rough Rider. Uh, called the Mean Tangerine, and uh, I can't really see, there we go, so you can see him there, such great, uh, fun little mini knives, uh, I really enjoy these, uh, I need to pick up um, some more of them probably, uh, but they are great and orange, right, <laughs> right below that, we have this Case Small Stockman, uh, really nice small stockman there uh, and that is in I think this is the um, persimmon orange bone uh, if I remember right but a nice little knife there uh, with the small stockman and uh, again I've got videos and all these so feel free to, to check those out after um, you watch this one if you'd like I'll probably try to link those as well uh, probably my favorite Sodbuster Jr. so far. Uh, I don't know. I love that mahogany bone a lot too. But <laughs> this guy is uh, the persimmon orange. And uh, just a nice little Sodbuster Jr. Uh, that orange bone is just really awesome. I absolutely love this guy. It's got the typical uh, stainless steel blade on it uh, that you've seen with the Sodbuster Juniors, but a really nice little knife there. And let's see, where should we go next? Let's go ahead and, and do this case right here. Uh, this is the smooth bone, uh, and this is uh, a trapper, uh, again, in stainless steel. But take a look at that. Man, oh man. Is that nice? Just love the love that smooth bone for sure. Of course, it's got the XX shield on it. It's got the fancy um, bolster uh, pinched on um, that end. Really, really nice trapper. One of my favorite patterns for sure. So we'll lay him down here. And then let's go to this guy. You've, you've seen a bunch of videos on this Barlow by Rosecraft. Uh, such a beautiful knife, just so well done. Um, I just, the ones of these that I've held and used, I just don't have any complaints at all. Blade is super sharp. Fit and finish is pretty much perfect on this one blade alignment right down the center like you'd expect it to be and man those back springs i mean you barely even know they're there <laughs> they are so so um smooth so yeah just a great great barlow there again an orange you know you see the theme here yeah yeah i know <laughs> if you don't like orange, you're not going to like this video. Uh, and then here's the Buck 112. Just did a video on this guy um, recently. Uh, and so they come in various colors. But, of course, I had to, to get one in orange here. Uh, and actually, this one was gifted to me uh, by Mike over at Hunting for Hookers or Cornbread, as you might know him. So we'll close this guy up, but man, such a great knife. These 112s are, um, can't go wrong with one of those at like, what are they like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I forget. And here's the knife that kind of started it all for knife collecting for me. Um, this Spyderco Delica in the orange FRN. I've had this guy, I packed this knife, I don't know, daily for, I would say five plus years. Um, just a great, 
saw the knife there made in um, Siki City, Japan. And uh, you, another one you really can't go wrong with, especially at the price point that it's at. It's got the back lock on it and uh, no problem to uh, get him closed one-handed there uh, as well. I do like uh, Spydercos, especially with modern knives. And uh, this guy here will always uh, kind of hold a special place in my heart. Uh, it was actually a gift uh, from my mom and stepdad uh, for Christmas several years ago. And uh, I did send it back to Spider Co. earlier this year just to get a little spot treatment and got a new uh, clip installed on it. Uh, but uh, such a great knife. Such a great knife. And then, of course, you know, we've got uh, this little Mora right here. And again, you've seen a video uh, on this guy. But uh, trying to get to focus here. There you go. And uh, it's trying. <laughs> but uh, a great little neck knife or um, throw it in your pocket. Uh, fixed blade, can't really go too wrong with these guys either. And then somebody told me the other day, I hadn't really paid any attention to this, but you can actually um, put the sheath on it and I'm trying to be careful here and do this one-handed uh, and you can extend the length uh, of your handle so that's pretty cool don't you think so yeah if you haven't got one of these little moras you might look in uh, to picking one of them up uh, be pretty handy uh, for all sorts of uh, tasks that you might run into from day to day and just because, you know, this is Fellers of Orange, I threw in my orange Olight and uh, this orange bandana to uh, kind of set it all off there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, just wanted to let you know that uh, I've got some orange knives uh, and hope to have some more uh, in the future. But wanted to show you what I've got so far. And uh, again, um, loving this Fellers of the Orange Open Tag. And uh, just waiting on some more of these stickers to come in, and I'll be sending out uh, some more invitations for you uh, to join this open tag and show off your orange knives as well. Thanks to uh, everybody that's already put videos out. Really appreciate those. Love seeing your knives. Um, love uh, seeing what uh, I might want to get at some point in the future. So keep those videos coming, guys. And uh, until next time, uh, we will talk to you later. All right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.